right, we'll do a couple of questions. Senator touched on this a little bit, but uh, most of these migrants are not being medically checked for COVID. Yeah. <clears throat> are you concerned about a spike in uh, diseases that have been eradicated in the past? Well, I think Senator Marshall addressed that at, at considerable length, and I'll let him elaborate on it momentarily, but it, but it is a very real problem. When I was down in the Rio Grande Valley a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Biden cages that have on a typical day about 4,000 people crammed in on top of each other, the rate of COVID positivity when I was last there was, was about 24 uh, percent. And the Biden administration is releasing illegal immigrants who are COVID positive into every community across the country. They're releasing them into South Texas, just McAllen alone. Uh, this year, the Biden administration has released over 7,000 illegal immigrants into McAllen, Texas, who were COVID positive. To put that in perspective, the population of McAllen is about 141,000. Five percent of the city of McAllen consists today of illegal immigrants with COVID that Joe Biden released this year. It is a crisis. It is dangerous. The Del Rio Bridge, when I was there, they weren't testing anybody. They had no idea who had COVID and who, who didn't. This Biden administration is willing to impose mandates on our soldiers and sailors and airmen and Marines, is willing to impose mandates on federal employees, is willing to illegally try to impose mandates on private employers. But when it comes to illegal immigrants, their radical open border policies trumps any desire to combat COVID, and, and it is dangerous. Senator Marshall, yeah. Dr. Marshall. Yeah, just, just really quickly, of course we're concerned, and my big concern is the variance. We, we should be at herd immunity by now. 70% of adults vaccinated, half of the people not vaccinated should have natural immunity, but yet this, this Delta variant had to come from somewhere and continues to cause reinfection. So my big concern is what are the next new variants going to be coming in across the border in such large volume? So yes, we're, we're very concerned about future spikes. All right, we'll do one last question. Yes. Could you please be specific policy 